that our own Chris Crocker is a killer. Now, fear not, though. Our Mark Peterson is on the case. Race period is ending. Look at this. Mostly cloudy. Sure, Chris Crocker, sweet. She puts together a game forecast, and I've worked with her for years. But could KXLI 4's own mild fan and chief meteorologist actually be a murderess? The answer is just across the street from KXLI at the Spokane Civic Theater. You see, Chris has been disappearing every night for hours. Turns out she's been cast in The Mousetrap, and the play has quite a history. I sat down with the play's director, Wes Dietrich, to find out more. It's an Agatha Christie murder mystery melodrama of that period. It opened on the west side of London in 1952. And that's where Wes looked for inspiration. I'm trying to recreate the feeling of the original production in 1952. One way he's doing that, real snow on stage. Well, one of the things they did on the original production was they had a snow room where they put people in and they ran the snow and they had snow on them they would walk on stage and the snow would melt so I bought a snow cone machine so I could have snow on the people a snow cone machine as a weather guy I love that but down to business sure I heard anything can't you stop worrying who's the killer Chris Crocker is the murderer Chris Crocker is a potential murderess. <laughs> That's part of the, of the rules of Agatha Christie is don't give away the murderer, murderess. Sworn to secrecy, eh? We'll see about that. You're Molly in the production of The Mousetrap. That is correct. You're the murderer. I can't yes, comment you are. on that. No, I'm not. Come on. No. It's just us here. It's a secret. Oh, come on. No way. In your English accent. Certainly not. Ugh. I'd finally given up until Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap. Crocker left her script here. I get to find out who the murderer is. But learning the truth comes with a price. I won't tell. I won't tell. <sighs> Nicely done. Oh, you can come find out who done it <laughs> starting February 28th. That is Friday. Oh, dear. At the Civic Theater, the play runs through March 16th. We put a link on KXLY.com for you to buy tickets. Beforehand. That's a lot of hard work, and you've been working very, very hard. It is a lot of hard work, a lot of fun. They yeah. do good things at the uh, Spokane Civic Theater. I would never hurt Mark, incidentally. No, uh, I know you, you know. wouldn't. And that British accent comes and out every once in a while. Oh, really? <laughs> very nice. It's a, hopefully it comes out for two hours yeah. uh, across the street. <laughs> I want to see a weather forecast Maybe. in the British accent. Perhaps. Mm, I think it's crossed. All right. <laughs>